We are here there, my lovely associate. Welcome to my channel. For all my new and old uh, subscribers, welcome back. And for those of you who still do not know me, my name is Martin uh, Pluklevion. I'm a Bulgarian witch, medium, psychic, healer, a star seed, a light worker, and also a divine twin flame on the path on ascension, a reincarnation of the divine feminine energy. I'm using my gifts here in YouTube to help those of you who need a little bit of guidance to shed some light on the current on the uh, current situation and also delivering messages from your future spouse, twin flame, a soul family, soulmate, ancestors, a spirit guides, whatever the case is. So as you can tell by the title of this video, we are going to be checking out how are what are their curling what are their uh, current uh, feelings uh, towards you. Now now what I was wondering if I was going to do like with only friends, but I'm getting really strong singles at the back of my spine. And let's be real, most of the YouTube videos people watch and want to find out, even for myself with my twin, uh, it's about Love Romantico. So uh, before we move to the uh, pick a cards, I just have some quick. Um, announcements to say now since this is a collective reading not not and not many of the rages of the messages may resonate so only pick only those parts of the information you feel you feel deep down with your gut feeling or your intuition and uh, discard the rest it's absolutely fine to choose all three piles or two piles or one pile or if you haven't um, chosen um, a pile or nothing resonates maybe there aren't messages for you um since my videos are usually timeless whenever you encounter it or you have uh, like the urge or you've been guided to watch the video maybe you're going to find um what you're looking for um also i'm not sugarcoating sugarcoating my videos so you have been warned just to know now um i'll be putting down below in the description box how to do a pick a card if this is your first time or pick a part of it or pick a symbol um, because probably I'm going to put like a image with three with three choices of the three groups also I'll be listing down below all the tarot and oracle decks which I'll be using today also my Instagram and TikTok accounts as well for my PayPal account for those of you who would like to tip me I'll be much obliged and thankful my email address for future collaborations if you're are yourself a tarot reader you want to do a collaboration uh, with somebody or for inquiring about um, personal readings with me and booking of course so um i think that this is all now we're going to move to the pick a cards on the screen you see uh, three options option one two or three Maybe I'm going to put cards. I will see how I'm guided, what I feel like. Um, this came to me, for those of you who are wondering, I'm using a, a Canva. Like Canva is really good for making such designs and uh, Photoshop. So without any further ado, now let's start with pound number one. We are here with pound number one. This is going to be your reading. Now, first we're going to do the, um, the tarot part. I'm going to... Um, get uh, five cards from the romantic and uh, sexual tarot decks plus the uh, back of the deck energy then you move to the um, uh, Morocco cards so um, okay I'm now going to uh, shuffle and lay down uh, the cards I'm not sure sure if I'm going to fast forward uh, this part or not so we are we are going to see uh, Martin from the future we all know so now please spirits and change your guides how is their person on the mind feeling uh, I forgot to say that when I was preparing to start with your pile um, because I'm also cooking while filming this video and when I was in the kitchen I felt like this and I'm still feeling that this eager energy like so ent um, enthusiastic so eager so um, uh, like I fancy something, like, um, what was the word, eager, um, energized energy. So I think that, okay, what I'm getting is that 
your person definitely feels feels this about you like they're feeling feeling very energetical very enthusiastic thanks to you but also that like nevertheless if they are still operating from the ego or they are listening to their soul that they're eager for the new changes like um, here in the northern hemisphere it's autumn so this is usually about harvest about new beginnings as well and it's spirit is showing me the number nine in my head like with the nine of swords like other nines um and also the nine of pentacles like the end of worries and past karmic and things which have kept you at bay but moving into the energy of the nine of pentacles like what you have um ripped you have uh, what you have plowed you, you will rip or it was the other um way around with those verbs so excuse me so now let's see five cards please spirit i heard right away lovey dabby so your person maybe a hopeless romantic or you or you both are and i'm also getting like this portrayal like if they're wearing poker face or they're being acting so super superficial as a male or a female like here we're doing um energies and also homosexual and heterosexual situations so you will know even if they're trying to portray a strong characters deep inside this may be also for you like they're really like uh lovey doveys like really gullible but in a positive and very um sweet way and i also heard in my head somebody with whom to share my heart um what is this song it's popping um, i think it's selena gomez the heart knows what it wants so it may be significant or maybe you're going to find some messages okay there we have the eight of wands okay okay i'm going to lay down firstly the cards can you see them i think yes just to zoom in a bit okay wow you saw how this heart flipped we have the the full like what i was telling you like a new beginning okay uranus energy also i forgot wow well, this happened fast also this may be their moon uh, moon sun moon rising or venus sign or yours we have fire energy with leo sagittarius and aries we have the six of cups with um water signs pisces cancer scorpio we also have temperance with sagittarius and the queen of cups yeah i forgot to sh show them the queen of cups again with water signs with water and fire i'm getting like a mixed energy of divine masculine and divine feminine um energy the six of cups like things are balancing out like not only sexual temptations but also um emotional like emotional balance if you get me like fire and water are balancing out okay and back of the deck we have the knight of swords somebody somebody is rushing out i'm hearing right away i need to spew out the truth so maybe if you're in separation with this person or um you haven't talked in a in a while or you haven't expressed your truest feelings i'm hearing something about and i'm about about depths like the depth of me trying to bury my emotions and not telling anything is crushing me i need to f i need to spill the tea yeah i need i need to spill the whole truth okay one moment okay and now with the sexual tarot oh sorry of oh. i'm rearranging and adjusting my camera angle so you can see but that is not enough what do i what do i hear like uh don't bother don't bother like in a british accent what but with this i'm getting for somebody like don't bother um worrying asking what is happening what are my feelings like 
stop stop stressing out and my heart is yours also i'm here something about my heart eggs and my heart my heart my heart knows it's you it's yours it's you oi Okay, with how the deck behaves, like I almost drop all the cards on the floor. I'm getting the deck having very mixed sexual emotions, like they're trying to tame their sexual emotions. Like with you, you may be feeling very intense sexual energies at this time. Somebody's not pleased, somebody is having like, it's feeling like crazy with those crazy and sexual emotions, even, even um, if you're a woman, like random desires or uh, feeling so overwhelmed with uh, sexual feelings that you need to um um to release the stress if you get me i'm heard something about balancing sexual and in and um loving emotions like romantic and sexual emotions and we have libra okay we have the death card in reverse so with the Okay, with the uh, um, Sagittarius, no, a Capricorn, a um, energy, no, sorry, Death card. Ah, which was the energy of the Death card? Mars? Oh, Scorpio energy, sorry, sorry, I'm blacked out. So, Scorpio to the Eight of Wands. Hmm. Spirit, the full card. Okay, with the death in reverse and that, I'm getting that they do not want. They. How to say it? Like they want you, they don't want a new. something with another person. Like, I'm getting really strong fingers that it's their deepest uh, uh, desire. As you can see in the picture, in the Eight of Wands, the man and the woman are, they were having a very passionate night. Yeah, like I'm getting like, I want to wake up next to you, but not to find you gone. Um, and I'm hearing again, the one that got away. It will, I, I'm not so sure if it's a film, it's a book, it's a song, it's a reference. Uh, you can check it out or you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm hearing about issues, about abandonment issues, people letting go and like their true essence of your person that if they uh, let go of people or they are uh, manipulating and using people, um, like I'm not saying this in a, how to say it, like in a very bad way, but maybe they're operating from their ego. They still have traumas to heal their inner child. Like um, they're, they're leaving people before they leave them if you get me but i'm getting that deep down they do not like this game and i'm hearing poker face in my face and something about about like a, a lyrics about somebody who is playing the game they do not like this game even if they portray something else with their ego okay we have the three of swords with the with the fool Okay, with this, I'm getting that they want a new renewal. Okay, one of the messages with you. Because they're afraid that you're going to break their heart if you move on, if you find somebody else. Also, I'm, what I'm also channeling that you're helping them mend their heart. To trust again. And like, I'm really having like this cold skin. Like, when you touch them, you're... You know, your, um, their skin ignites even the thoughts of you. I'm having that you very that you have a very um, uh, therapeutic and healing energy power number one. Some of you maybe witches came to my to my head and star seeds. Okay, with the six of cups. One K for the six of cups, like a sexual thought. 
the nine of swords w wasn't i talking about knights sorry i forgot to uh, show them the cards okay with this i'm getting like celebrations you may know this person from your childhood okay we have the three of swords with air signs aquarius we have a lot of air here aquarius libra and gemini and the uh, uh uh, death card la muerte with this i'm getting that i'm hearing i cannot restrain myself now for instance um this is an example they take you out for drinks or to the movie theater they would definitely want to continue things like in a more sexual way like kissing and um Yeah, I'm getting with the, this Nine of Swords, they have many like blockages and issues in their mind because maybe if they have restrained themselves, not touching you like sexually or sensually and you may be feeling like those sexual bursts coming from your person because even if you're not talking, they may be stalking your social media. I posted a video recently or they're feeling this huge... Um, desire to touch you or even if they are flirting and dating other people if you aren't in a relationship they still feel that it's getting them like this emotion this thing of not being able to touch you or to satisfy their sexual needs with you but um not only to satisfy theirs but also your um yours pound number one Yeah, and with the swords and the cups, to be joyous, to be flirtous, to be playful. Yeah, like escaping, how to say it, like escaping the mind. Also, life path number six can be significant for somebody. And it's all about harmony. harmony. So, I don't know, some of you may be Irish, you may have a um, Gallic heritage, or your person is in Ireland, Scotland, I'm not so sure, like... I'm getting also chaotic vibes, but um, yeah, truly being themselves to escape their ego, their poker face, to to leave their mask. Okay, one clarify for the temperance, and we have the six of cups again. Yeah, things are balancing out, and with the temperance, things are balancing out. Yeah, things are balancing out. They're healing like what I was telling you about balance between fire and water, romantic and sexual feelings, divine masculine and divine feminine energy. Yeah, yeah, with the mirror, you may be mirroring each other or you may be triggering each other, especially if, if this is a twin flame connection. You're, you're, you are reflecting se many things, yeah, many things to them like past traumas karmas their ego what needs to what needs to heal or how they need to improve themselves and to to learn how to love themselves with self-love i'm getting that this is a very karmic relationship um as in um that you're learning each you both are learning very valuable lessons okay i asked if this was uh, like a negative kind but i heard some, uh, something about that love is stronger if this is strong love and you feel it and if you know deep, deep down that this is, isn't a karmic because power number one I'm going I'm not going to lie and get that many of you are very intuitive very into like spirituality tarot um, mediums as well so you can find the answer if this is a karmic or not and I'm hearing like in my head no I don't think so this may be coming from your person but if your person isn't so spiritually awakened or at your spiritual level they may question this or think that this is another karmic relationship or that it's karma time or that the universe has put you in their place um, in their lives to teach them a lesson and then you live like yeah the one that got away this is what they fear they are so true and I'm sorry I, I suddenly felt like bursting into crying like they're so fed up with this energy of always chasing even if they're playing like these characters like um like the hunter like the divine masculine energy who is hunting and 
leaving the prey if you get me. They're so true over it and I'm hearing, I'm seeing a man covering his head, um, like screaming and in anguish, like really hurting, saying no more, I cannot take this anymore, no more, like I'm getting crazy. Wow. Okay, a qualification for the Queen of Cups. I'm also hearing that they are maturing, pal number one. And facing their act. Okay, we have two cards. Again with temperance and the uh, judgment, like yeah, a new beginning. With this uh, judgment, Pluto energy I think. And temperance with Sagittarius, like yeah, with the Queen of Cups, they're healing. They may be healing their divine feminine energy, accepting their feelings, being vulnerable, so they, so that, yeah, I'm hearing something about a happy family, and I'm seeing the happy family cards from the Energy Oracle, which I will be using um, um, in a while. Like, yeah, they're healing, they're healing, healing, yeah, healing, um, facing their music. Um, Because they know deep down that even if they are scared and still fighting this, that unless they do not hear their emotions, they do not speak their emotions, they accept that they may lose you, you may have moved on, you may re reject them, that uh, things cannot change for the better if they, are, if they do not change themselves is what I'm getting. And I'm getting a really strong desire, like I was telling you about this excitement, because you excite them, you make them change, even if you do not see this in the in the 3D. And we have the knight with the with the two of wands, like speaking out. Maybe they're going to reach out by inviting you to a dinner or a bar. Yeah, I'm hearing again talk things over, spill the tea. I'm hearing that they're afraid of acting sexually towards you, like having sex on the first date because um, they really value value even if they feel so, such a strong uh, sexual desire to you, palm number one. Now, let's see with the clarifiers. Something about your voice is captivating and them talking to you. Like I'm hearing the one who understands me, the one who can understand me, the one who knows what's in um, in my heart and I'm getting emotional. Okay, how to say it? Because I keep seeing like this deep ocean, like when when you when you go really deep down in the ocean or in the sea, you know how the water becomes darker and colder and but with I'm getting that you may be not aware but this person has really deep emotions about you. And strong deep emotions about you but also what i'm getting with is that they may bury their emotions really deep so when you meet them in the 3d you even if you are psychic you cannot catch even if you are twin flames or really special soulmates you cannot catch their thoughts all the way or that they feel something about you but i'm getting that when they're alone and really vulnerable and when they are really tired this is why they may be escaping your contact for the moment because because when they are really in their comfort zone with you, like how to say it, in their comfort zone, when they can take off their mask, they can be vulnerable. One slip of their lips, like one word, one touch, one kiss, whatever the case is, all those emotions are going to burst. And I'm getting that maybe those days they were having such a thing, like their emotions bursting out of nowhere and they having like this darkest night of the soul, crying, feeling, yeah, no more, I cannot, take this and you may be feeling those strong emotional yeah spirits suggest to to use sage and to clear your, your energy when you feel those emotions that are coming from them from there from them and you know this but i'm getting how to say it use the sage try but things are going to get intense and, and until they express they have this leap of faint and talk to you Like, this is not to make you feel scary or that you're going crazy, but I'm hearing something about really strong emotional times. Like, the tie between your souls is like, a, it's not like a, with a rope, it's like of golden chains. 
and how much they're trying to break the connection or vice versa or you're trying to punish the other you only cause each other pain okay one okay, fire for the first um the first con three spirit eight of swords and a death card like abiding energy I'm hearing about adjustments, they may be trying to adjust their lifestyle to fit yours or to be together. Yeah. The Eight of Swords, what I was telling you about. And we have the Five of Swords, which almost fell. They're having this break, like they're fearing of new changes, of new persons entering their, their life. And I'm hearing that they're facing their act, how they have treated other people or left other people or you, yourself. I'm hearing that you can help them, but only they can free themselves and see their worth. Okay, one body energy for the fool and the three of swords. Yeah, they're working towards this goal, like I was telling you, like a new beginning, like a positive one with you hitting their heart but they're feeling the negative change of the like they're feeling the the new cycle of a new karmic relationships oh, yeah wow this hit me like this is what i was trying to tell you they want a uh, happily ever after okay one binding energy we have earth signs with the six of cups and the nine of swords la yeah didn't i was telling you about the nine of pentacles this abundance, what they have been manifesting, it's with you. Not only romantic romantic and friendly feelings like um, amical feelings, but also very amorous feelings, very sexual. I'm hearing that you are their price number one, but not like in a shallow way. And I'm receiving the, the star card in my head, like you're the deepest, you are their deepest desire. Even if they are not aware of this still yet, or their ego is trying to force them to think out of it, like not to have their heart hurt, and I hurt again, mel um, mel melting my uh, melting my heart or melting the heart. Like you may be aware or not aware how much damage has been caused to their heart, like from past relationships. Um, from another love connection, um, from their family, their, up, their upbringing, maybe also religious factors. Okay, we have with the Temperance and the Six of Chalices, Rita de Kelche, which is the Knight of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, like, yeah. This abundance, you're helping them to, I'm hearing like, um, marriage, um, like a, be, uh, to become this uh, husband or wife material and they're healing they're mending they're working on themselves so that can so that they can heal and move forward and even offer their cup of feelings now with the queen of cups and the judgment and the temperance we have one two three four we have four major arcana cards so four maybe your life path or animal Four is also about me, about balance, finding a balance. Yeah. The Tree of Pentacles, like, uh, the Tree of Fun, sorry. Like, um, like having distant plans, making plans for the future. And also I'm getting that they're, they're getting more aware of what they truly want from this life. And for the, their family, their truest goals, not what society expects them from them and their external sources like karmic friendships or relationships. With the Knight of Swords and the Two of Wands, we have the Atom, which is the tower. Hmm. With this, I'm getting like a breaking point, rushing over you. I'm also receiving this message for somebody you may be having like a dinner, you are the, at your local coffee shop drinking with your best friend or 
um, a friend from the op opposite sex, like your person may think that you cheat on them or you having sexual or romantic feelings with this person. And what I'm getting is like they literally bursting out in the, uh, no, uh, bursting in, in the coffee shop or where you are and uh, I need to talk to you, pound number one. I have something to say. Who is he or who is she? Um, stop. Uh, stop this. Um, whatever the case is, I, uh, you get me. Now this video is going to be very long. And I will see how if you like and correspond to it. And when I'm doing a second part, I'm going to do like um, an extended. Okay, now let's see with the oracle cards. Now, firstly, with the um, energy cards, three energies. Respiratory energies about their person. What are they ex experiencing? Feelings towards pound number one. Okay, we have one extra. We have uh, blossoming um, abundance, like what I was talking about with the Nine of Pentacles. We have seven chakra archangel um, Uriel, so they may be opening their crown chakra and seeing things how they are. A woman holding a coin, expressing their love, but what I was also telling generic with the Queen of Cups opening their divine feminine energy and opening their heart and second chakra archangel um ario with the sacred chakra okay now to lay the other cards three cards yeah i'm thinking about moving past obstacles blockages Working on themselves, wanting this abundance. Okay, three cards, please, spirit. What's part number one? Thinking about them. We have spark. And I'm hearing like bloom and sparks, like how blooms domino from wind scoop has um, was called in the first kids dub, like like sparks. You ignite their passion, like what I told you. You you excite them. You. Even if you're not aware of this, you make them uh, like, no, you, you influence them to change their life for the better. And not to feeling having their heart broken, daydream. They're certainly over their head and healing. Wasn't I telling so much healing with the temperance, healing. There are no coincidences in tarot, people. They're daydreaming and with the spark also they may be having like, sexual fantasies about you or pleasing themselves what? sorry we passed sorry we passed 30 minutes and my camera went down so now with my new tar oracle cards oracle of the radiant sun star girl has been using the tarot the oracle cards they are gorgeous and now we're going to see three cards now since we only see female personages like here they're un like your or their ancestors, like female ancestors or female deities, goddesses may be helping you. Like to operate from your divine feminine energy when expressing your feelings and not feeling being hurt. And I heard something about keep those keep those guards down. Okay, three cards, please, spirit. Oi. Revenge. Should I do a reversals here? Um, yes or no? No. Okay, we have Revenge with Mercury and Scorpio energy. Like, yeah, this energy with bursting up, I'm telling you. And for me, this is also like sexual desires. And that, yeah, their, their feeling of revenge, like... 
like revenge what i was telling you with the uh, eight of wands another eight and the uh, death card in reverse repeating another uh, cycle another karmic cycle okay we have drama with mercury and leo with number five okay and one last card please spirit before i channel one last card please spirit vision with pisces and sun for me this is also opening their third eye chakra their crown chakra seeing things how they are eight five and twelve maybe you can check out this angel number is what i'm getting or twelve five eight okay with the drama cards and definitely um you may be apart from your person like even if you are just saluting each other nothing more because they may be drama they need to heal they need to um heal like yeah balance their energies not to take revenge because like yeah basically they can cause drama if even uh especially if they feel that i'm also getting very possessive and clear vibes actually even if they're in a relationship right now or sleeping with five persons at the same time like um going out with five persons and sleeping with them this is an example they still feel very possessive over you and they can cause drama which is yeah um this sucks i get it for you like if they're so possessive and want you why are they having an affairs with five different persons or fitting with them you get me but they're definitely opening their eyes and i'm hearing like getting the act clearing their act how they have behaved yeah with here with her no with um with a perseus and medusa's head i'm getting it's not medusa but they're very like close to them like cutting their ego their bad side um and spirit is going to reward them with the fire of their truest love like you power number one they also are so fed up with so much drama they want to be free from drama from these karmics blossoming abundance 341 44 and 36 41 44 can be significant and for some of you this may be another twin flame confirmation and synchronicity like three fourths We have 30, 11, 12. Like all the numbers can be important or significant in some way. So you can tell by yourself. We have 2, 12. So 12, 12, 11, 12. 4, 1 equals 5. So two fives. Okay. Um. I'm not channeling anything right now. But I'm getting like a shifting energy, balancing. I heard loud, loud and clear in my head, I'm so sorry. So they feel sorry. And from both their 3D and 5D self, not to worry because, yeah, they're fighting their ego so they can express their uh to say that they're sorry truly sorry to you and ask for your forgiveness i'm getting yeah with the woman holding a heart even if they deep down know that you're going to forgive them them that you love them they still may feel unworthy of this love and this connection but you're opening their eyes to see their value and their truth yeah, vision. Moving past, past illusions and negative beliefs, all karmic cycles. Like yeah, from Mars and Mercury. Yeah, and we have Leo. Leo and Sun, and they are next to each other. For with this, I'm getting like the Sun card, like a positive outcome.
they may be feeling the change some of them like right now because I hurt in my head I'm feeling the change you hold the key to their abundance as well yeah we have many fire here like I'm hearing like true passion or true love yeah and yeah I just noticed that on her arm bracelet she also has a heart okay part number one I'm going to leave the reading right here it was so long I hope that the messages resonated and that you enjoyed those types of videos if so please give me a like comment down below subscribe and share this video for me future videos like this my name is Martin Luklevian I had the pleasure of being your personal guide and reader for today I wish you all the best of what of the of all the best of luck with your person please let me down below let me down below how are things are going is something is going to shift um you know in this connection if you finally get or they express some of their feelings to you um please let me know whenever the time has come and don't forget that um i wish you all the best of luck and love and don't forget that um i love you love yourself and until next time bye bye we are here with our part number two, so thank you very much for being here. This is going to be your reading. Firstly, I'm going to draw and place um, five cards from the romantic and then the sexual tarot, of course, plus with the um, uh, bottom of the energy, uh, bottom of the deck's energy. Then we'll move to the um, oracle cards. Um, now, let me just start now by channeling the energy. Okay, what I'm hearing right away is mixed feelings. And also I'm hearing some, uh, somebody being in the doubt. This can be you or the, your person and vice versa, mirroring each other's. And with this, twin, flame came, twin flames came to my mind, so you can be. Or you can have a very strong soul tie with this person. And I also heard that I'm getting this... Um, very strong thing was at the back of my spines, like, um, uh, what was it? But I heard it very loud, like, um, you betcha or you don't say, like, this is a confirmation that you have a very strong soul tie with this person. Mm. And also that lessons must be warned. Yeah, I'm also getting that sometimes those feelings and energies between you two um, even like if you, even if you're in separation, you're still talking. Your co-workers, you are, a, I don't know, a student and a teacher. I don't know. Um, somebody needs to take a retreat, so that so that they cannot be overwhelmed by those feelings and thoughts. But I'm getting mostly like feelings, which of course they influence the the thoughts. What I'm also getting from your person is that, oh, this can be also you, so just to know, uh, um, I can be talking about you or them, you are mirroring each other, also this can be uh, uh, hetero or homosexual relationships, just to know. Okay, so now let's see with the romantic tarot. So yeah, very intense emotions, but what I was going to tell is that they can feel the emotions but they can but they can uh but it could be possible that they cannot make um out what is all this all about what are they exactly feeling especially if they haven't felt such intense emotions before to prior uh prior to meeting you so now let's see five cards for my love is from pound number two and with Two, I heard it takes two to tango. Oi. Okay, we have the Knight of Swords. We had this card in the last part, if you're wondering. This can be their air, um, air. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign. Then it can be Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Hmm. Okay, yeah, with this card, I'm getting, yeah, like they're trying to escape, not to have. Something about not staying too much in their head. I'm also hearing like brain damage, but um, like there are sometimes their thoughts and their monkey mind plays a huge, a huge trick on them, and it's making them feel like 
wobbly, dizzy, anxious, um, confused. But they would like to set things forward, like to set it, to set things straight. Yeah, is what I was looking for. Okay, we have the King of Wands. Um, Leo Sagittarius Aries. With this, I'm getting very, yeah, like, and I'm feeling it's like a passion beyond limits, like a really mature passion is what they're feeling towards you. And this is my causing them feeling as such. I'm not feeling only love and loving, like lovey-dovey emotions, but also very passionate. And I'm hearing, regardless of their gender and your gender, but I heard um, that you're making a man out of them. Okay, and uh, while considering that, we have the King of Pentacles. Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So, two kings. Definitely a, a, a lot of Divine Masculine um, energy. I don't like you serving to them as such an inspiration for their job, for their creativity, especially in their, if they're in the a creative department, musicians, people of art, photographers, also marketing, influencers, and gym are coming to my mind. Oi! Oh my god. Sorry, you saw that, those cards. Okay, what well, that I'm getting that sometimes their emotions, especially their sexual emotions, are so tense so much they hit them out of out of the blue like out of nothing so that they feel overwhelmed okay they can be um masturbating thinking of you or you can feel that energy or when they're doing that and stalking your social media or having photos i don't know for some of you i'm getting very clear message that they may have downloaded or seen that video from a summer holiday when you're wearing like a bathing suit and you look like sexy and sweet they might for this, for whom this is meant this message, they might have and seen that video. Or if you have thought about this video recently, this confirmation. Also, I love how we have blue, red, and green. This reminds me of the Powerpuff Girls, like uh, Blossom, Bubbles, and Buttercup. This can be significant. You might both love the Powerpuff Girls. We have the Seven of Cups. With choices, but here I'm getting like flattering. You flattered them. Okay, you may be boosting their ego, like with this divine masculine energy, like, oh my god, you're so buff, you're so smart. Even if when you are, when you are sincere, but they're really like, okay, I'm getting Aries energy, and Leo energy, they really, and Taurus, okay, they really love, and Venus somehow, Venus, Venus, okay, and Virgo, I meant to say Virgo. They may, they may feel flattered, they may like to be um, uh, poised, to be pampered, you know, to be, um, oh my god, you're like so, uh, oh my god, you're so, so strong, you're so amazing, you know, like, I'm not saying this in a shallow way, but it may seem like this, like, from other sources that it's superficial, okay, but they really love to be pampered and to receive compliments, is what I'm getting, and especially from you, even if you say, oh, oh my god, um, uh, like, um, oh my god, um, you just, uh, you just arranged the books in the library, uh, 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 per example, and you have done such a great job, I haven't seen such a, a book arrangement, I don't know, maybe you, you both like books, you like book forms, and Beauty and the Beast are coming from this thing, like with Belle and Prince Adam, I think it was his name, maybe significant. Yeah, I heard that somebody likes to hit the books, but what I was telling you that even if you say such a compliment, for you it may be so random, so am amical, but for them it's going to be like the world. Like, part number two said that I read your book so well, like, oh my god, like, I'm so good at this, on um, five. Okay, <sighs> I don't know, I suddenly as what I was hearing and, I don't know, like, imagining, I don't know, it's mixed, like... I'm going to, like, I heard something from them, like, saying, I'm going to reward you with sex, something, and, wow, this hit me, like, a really strong energy. We're going to see with the sexual terror, but they're getting very unsatisfied sex emotions. 
Okay, we have the high priestess. Maturic energy and yeah, hitting the books. You may be and your person you may person may be studying about or worrying about relationships or masculine divine feminine energy, twin flames or tarot. Palmistry is also coming. And back of the energy we have the Knight of Wands. For some of them I'm getting that maybe they're thinking of uh, prelocating to be next to you. We have Pisces energy also. And Cancer, Cancer, Pisces and Scorpio. Yeah, with only the High Priestess and so many male figures. They're definitely a person whose Divine Masculine energy is more predominant, even if they are a woman. And this is a heterosexual relationship and you are a woman, power number two. Yeah, the setting things strength, strength. I'm also finding it that they find it it's very attractive and they feel so blessed and this is a thing from spirit that if you think that they're intelligent, even if they're like um, a rock star, a metal singer or a bodybuilder, seem so superficial or an Instagram influencer like a photo model, they really find out very that it's very sexy and sweet of you, that you think that they're very intelligent and you know that they're in intelligent and maybe you know things that other people do not know about them because they have told you so, like making you f like directly or indirectly, they're a, 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 a confidant. Okay, now let's see with the sexual tarot. Holy Spirit, for the... Yeah, we have two knights and two kings. For me, this is like a growing energy and emotions. Maturity, reaching maturity. Hmm. Also about balancing their divine feminine energy. I heard yeah, they are in the feels about you, pawn number two. Even if they are so good at making poker face and poker facing and wearing a mask, being so superficial, hiding their feelings from you, like spiritually and physically. Um, but they know that you know power number two. I'm hearing that power number two knows power number two is deep. But not in a sexual way. Like here it wasn't sexual, but you're so deep, like your intelligence is deep. You're like a never-ending puzzle, like a never-ending mystery, and this is what they also adore about you. You're not like the other people, like karmics and past relationships, even friends that people... Okay, they get bored if they figure out a person very quickly, is what I'm getting. And with the highest priestess, it's giving me this maturity, like... They would like a person who is very out of the ordinary, like out of the, the pattern. Um, not your typical male or female, if you get me. Um, like even, for example, if you, even if you're a very feminine woman, you like to wear makeup, dresses, high heels, skirts. Um, but they, if they see that you like, for instance, playing video games or driving or working as a mechanic or having a male's job, um, they find this very appealing and sexy about you. Like that it's not only about... Um, like you have no limits, you're changing and you have so many things to teach them and they learn from you. Yeah, and this is what ignites their passion and to be better or as good as you. Like, okay, there is a bit of uh, rivalry and competition vibes, but they really admire and that you are having such a um, positive um, influence and impact on, on them. So, one k five for the Knight of Swords, please, Spirit. Okay, should I do reversals? Um, yes or no? Okay, no. <laughs> the High Priestess, seriously, we have a double High Priestess. And I'm going to change the battery. Um, just a moment, okay, we have two High Priestesses. Like even if in their sexual thoughts and even in their daily thoughts, like romantic thoughts. Um, what was I going to say? They see pleasure, they see you as an uh, as a goddess because if they're mostly in their divine masculine, maybe you're more in, in your divine feminine energy. They see how caring, intellectual, intelligent you are, intuitive. 
Okay, I'm hearing, I'm hearing bad meter from uh, Hocus Pocus. I put a spell on you and now you're mine, mine, mine. So they definitely feel, or if, okay, even, okay, take it how it resonates. If you're a witch, you know you're a witch. They know if, if you're a witch, they suppose they're a witch. But they feel that you have cast a spell over them. My heart and mind is what I'm hearing. Not only so caring and intelligent, but also like a sex goddess, so divine. So like even with one stare, like even if you're so tired, you're having a bad hair day, you're tired and you look like so grumpy, even if you gave them a stare, uh, like so um, without any sexual thoughts or feelings, for example, like they're going to be in the fields, like you have a complete control over them. And yeah, this is with the Knight of Swords. Your, yeah, your energy is in intimidating them. It's intoxicating them, is what I'm getting. Yeah, you and <laughs> you know, I said something about keys. You have the key to their heart and their mind, like a spell. Okay, I'm getting that your higher selves are smirking right now and they're very divinely um, pleased that they have a control, but not in a bad way. Because your emotions are so pure and so deep and so lovable that it was meant to be. Okay, one moment, I'm going to change uh, the battery. Uh, sorry. Okay, power number two. So thank you for bearing with me. I changed the battery. So yeah, duality with the tools, divine masculine, divine feminine energy. I heard something about the fruits of their hard labor. Okay, if you have a cat or if you are a cat, like you like cats, you are into f uh, felines, they find this very sexy and attractive about you and that you have a big heart. Okay, one card for the King of Wands, please spirit. If the Queen of Wands comes out, I'm going to lose it. <laughs> Oi. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, like, yeah, you're serving as their muse because, yeah, or there's like, like the charities, like in the Greek and Roman or the three graces, like in Roman mythology. You're bringing out their virtues, out to work towards beauty, creation, abundance. Okay, I don't know if you're going to meet of, or you have met, but this is a confirmation that you're going to change their life from now on. How they perceive beauty, divine beauty, divine feminine energy, um, abundance, work. I think about something, a completely new start. And feeling refreshed. Okay, this is Jupiter energy, I think. Okay, now with the queen, with the king of pentacles. One card, please, spirit. King of pentacles. I almost said the queen. With that, I'm getting that they see you as their equal and also as their rival. Okay, there may be some friendly competition going, some friendly rivalry. For some of you may have had already sex, like friends with benefits. But both of you know, or at least one of the parties, like really strongly know that this isn't only friends with benefits or this wasn't only for one time. Okay, we have two cards. And it fell on the king. Okay, we have the Ace of Swords and the Seven of Pentacles. Air signs. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini and the Seven of Pentacles. The words of their labor. Yeah, with this, with the King of Pentacles, yeah. With this, yeah, I'm getting that this isn't like the Earth energy. It isn't set in stone. They want more from this. They want the sexual part, the kinky part and also being a romantical. I'm also getting like greed, like the scene greed, but with you, they're very greedy. They want more. They aren't, they aren't satisfied with you. They, yeah, you're expanding their healthy boundaries and that they're not only for the, um, for the breadcrumbs. They want more and they want the full experience is what I'm getting. Yeah, making a man out of me. 
Okay, I'm getting a very masculine energy, like sexy, uh, like a macho type, like a bodybuilder, like a fitness trainer. I don't know. They may be working out or be becoming better and eating healthy thanks to you. But I'm getting very mature and sexual male energy. Wow, and this hit me. Okay, now with the seven of cups on card, please. The moon. Cancer energy. Bringing out things that they have never known before about themselves, about feeling, about divine feminine energy, also about spirituality. But yeah, like this puzzle that you are, are not like an, like you are a never ending puzzle. Okay, we're going to see also with the binding energy now for the high priestess. Also, they adore even if they haven't expressed this to you that you have such a deep feelings and such a such a genuine soul power number two i heard that you are the nurturer type also if you have talked about past relationships i'm getting that they're getting very um revengeful and hateful and protective of you about past lovers or relationships people who have hurt you and we have the Queen of Wands, finally, it came out. Leo energy. I'm hearing that you're so mesmerizing that you are, are like a gem to bend. Like, even if you are so, you know, like into books and well educated and intellectual, that you're such a sex god or, or goddess underneath, regardless of your. Um, body type or how do you perceive yourself for, for them you are like the full program like the trophy like the jewel like the cherry on top igniting their passion okay they may be also into smoking or smokers also using smoking as a coping mechanism to escape those rushing feelings and emotions i'm getting why they feel so confused sometimes okay and for the knight of wands we have the Ten of Wands. I love the illustration of this card. I'm getting, yeah, sometimes they want to rush things so that they can um, have a good time with you, but like sexually. Mm, and also with the Ten of Wands. Sometimes they feel when they're with their murky mind that it feels like so much work and trouble to be with you or to to be in a relationship especially if they haven't experienced something like this so emotional and truth you're also bringing out their wild side i think that there was such a song by taylor swift wild side you can check it out okay now one gray fire like one biting energy for the night of Swords and the uh, High Priestess for his spirit. Yeah. Non-binding energy. They definitely haven't figured you out, figured you out. And this this is what also may frustrate them because they like to figure out the other person. They're very observing, like a, like a strategic person. They may be also into war games like Age of Empires, building, creating, maneuvering. They may be also in the army or have ties with the army. One fighting energy for the High Priestess and the Knight of Swords, please, Spirit. Something about policemen is coming and the police. Maybe this is a future sexual desire bef between you two. Yeah, they're definitely a very authorial figure. A figure. Figure of authority. Like physically this may be their job or they may be a, such a person with this divine masculine energy. Okay, the four of pentacles and the five of cups. Yeah, with this I'm getting like this stuck energy, like overwhelming. They are in the blue and they are in the fields. 
I'm getting like confusion from these cards. Sometimes emotional and grounding because of your intense energy and feelings and yeah, you, you know, like you can literally just buy you existing and still they can be triggered and puzzled by you. But with the four and the five, I'm getting like things are moving, things are shifting like in a positive direction. Okay, one, okay, one card for the one binding energy, please, spirit for the king of wands and the wheel of fortune. I heard that they're going to be very fortunate in sex with you. Okay, one energy, please, spirit. The three, okay, we have three. The three of wands, the page of wands, uh, Pash de Schwerta, and As de Münzen. Like, yeah, this new beginning, this new creativity, like a new job, or you influencing them to change a job. To see their abundance, to see their strength. Yeah, becoming mature to become the man. Or to start to express their emotions and communication. You may be also influencing them and manifesting a honest and true communication with them. They also may be stalking your profiles in the social media to see how great you're doing and to find um, inspirations. Like if you're into knitting, you're very good. You have your own brand with knitwear and they feel inspired. But even if they want to open their own hardware store, but they feel inspired by you is what is what I am getting. Okay, one card please spirit. Like one like binding energy for the queen for the king of pentacles. I again said queen and the uh, ace of swords. I uh, another ace and the uh, seven of pentacles. One binding energy please spirit. I keep hearing in the fields, in the fields, they are in the fields. And then it's stuck in their head. Because what's in their heart is now reaching their head. Even if they had tried to, um, to put those emotions really, to bury those emotions really, um, really deep uh, below. In one card, the nine of pentacles, like, yeah, they're manifesting this, they want more, they want this abundance because the nine of chalices or the nine of cups usually also talks about greed, they are greedy, they want more, they think that you can fill all their cups. Okay, one biting energy for the seven of cups and the moon, please, spirit. The sun. I think I said something about the sun. So we have the sun and the moon. You're you're bringing the the best out of them. Also about yeah, discovering themselves, healing their inner child, and being more happy. The zone. They're really happy even if they do not show it by your company, by your behavior, like by your energy. Even if they feel you, even if you're in the same room and you do not interact like the whole night or the whole day, they feel still very happy that to have you there, pile number two. Okay. One by the energy for the high priestess and the queen of wands. I heard a woman of passion. Okay, one by the energy, please, spirit. The Queen of Swords. Okay, we have two queens and a high priestess. For me, this is that you're not only intelligent. Okay, König and the Schwerta, Aquarius energy. You're not only like very intellectual, um, sexy, like caring, nurturing, well-mannered, but also that you're very, um, that you're very strong will. You have a strong will. You have set boundaries, you're very strong, you do not like like border dash and cheap talks. You you know you you are working or you have just started working on your self-values, your self-love and um putting down empty boundaries and this is what they 
find also attractive about you and also a bit intimidating that they cannot get so easily in your head sometimes like you are you are quite a catch number part number two like looks intellect and a character can we have the king of wands König der Stabe for yeah for the wands a lot of fire energy for me this is like yeah working towards it even if it's hard work they are maturing and they are growing and moving into the positive direction okay just one slip of my coffee I'm going to move to the um, oracle cards anything else that things are moving in the right direction is what I'm getting also uh, August may be significant for for you for your person bloom and gloom when they think like gloomy and miserable you cast sun you're like a sunshine casting light over them like a flower that needs its light that's what I'm also getting okay firstly with the um, energy tarot three cards please spirit this is such Okay, I heard I'm such an idiot, so maybe they are um, coming to the sense of the truth that they have hurt you, they have might, might, have, might have caused you pain, that they didn't act it accordingly or had they would, what, would, would, would like to, to act with you or to treat you right. Okay, yeah, the thinking man. Okay, so three cards, please, spirit. About their emotions, energy right now towards pawn number two. Happy family. This card came in the last reading, but only as a vision. With this, I'm getting yeah number four. More positive vibes. That day, okay, for some, that they see a potential future with you, like happy family that you bring the like the good you are like the sunshine to them but yeah but basically for all of you that you're making their life so much better and colorful okay a second card please spirit two more cards opening their eyes to new possibilities new futures Something about adjustments, deceit, like yeah, with this confused energy, what I was telling you. They may be into a lot, like um, fighting, um, relying on external sources, 25, maturing, being feeling deceit by those emotions and feelings, by their ego, by their soul, what the card wants and what the mind or the ego wants okay one last card please with this card i'm also getting very uh, luscious vibes like very kinky and naughty like there i'm hearing that there are like a devil in the bed like a sex god journey with the ten of wands that they're moving again with the tools that they're moving working they may be also traveling a lot by fighting themselves. I'm getting like, with these three cards, they're warning about themselves, what they truly want, how to reach this goal, how to overcome the obstacle and have this wish fulfillment with you. Yeah. For those of you who are still not fully aware about your um, relationship or your connection, they are going to find out sooner or later, okay? Two cards, please, spirit. Uh, three cards. What is also there to be known? Sp 
Spank, didn't I tell something about Spank and working through your social media? They maybe keep you, they may, they might keep a low profile, but they may be spying like using fake accounts or personally not liking your photos or seeing your stories. But they might have other sources to to do so. Okay, two more cards, please, spirit. And they fell on the deceit and the happy family. Respect with 40 and codependency should i do this uh, reversed um, yes or no like reversed okay they're working through their codependency seeing that you're not so con okay i'm not getting that they're very codependent on you but they may okay this may be an an past issue like a past trauma and they're working on healing about that, like with the deceit. Even if they're thinking that with you it's a COVID, a codependency issue or a relationship, they're working past through this. But for many of you, I'm getting that they feel very um, overwhelmed, like in a positive way, um, that you're setting them free to live their life to be okay now to see with the right and sun. Because the spirit of what is also about their person. Generosity with Saturn and Leo. Touch, yeah, like yeah, you you are a very generous and caring person. Even to them. Like I'm hearing I heard in my head loud and clear. Uh why are you less why are you wasting my time with me and also why are you why are you so generous with me? Okay, two more cards, please, spirit. Romance with Venus and Taurus. This reminds me also of the Two of Cups. Like, yeah, um, love, loving thoughts, desire, what I'm getting. That their heart has been pierced by Cupid, that you have cast a spell on them. Romance oh, card. Generosity and romance. That this relationship with you has more positive impact and positive blessings, like blessings for them, than negative. And this is why, with the deceit, like they may be telling themselves, it's too good to be true. Okay, we have also inheritance with Saturn and Scorpio, with eight. Yeah, with this castle, they may have built like strong walls around their hearts and their and the, the depths of their soul. But I'm getting that with you, they're they're um, they're willing to let go down uh, the bridge, like with the moth and Bailey, like yeah, with this maze, like a never-ending place, like a mystery. Okay, now, but with this inheritance card. With eight. One card, please, spirit, for the inheritance. Should I do reversal? Um, yes or no? No or yes? Okay, we have, yeah, check. The hanged man. Okay. De gehangte. A hanged man. Okay, with this, I'm getting like a karma like. Inheriting their karmic ties and healing their family legacy and with you they are also shifting their view Seeing that they are here to help that they are not inherently Supposed to be living the lives of their ancestors and family toxic members That like they like with the ten of wands that they aren't supposed to be carrying all this um, weight unless if they want to like they're shifting their and you're helping them to shift their perspective how they view things and even if they have a, had had a lot of karmic and negative and bad relationships and connections that it was like a hidden blessing like them to grow their soul to grow to learn 
not to be punished and with this um, hello that you're giving them hope on number two to be hopeful for the future and that they're deserving and of abundance that the universe really love the universe really up loves them and it's a generous to them because what is meant for them it's going uh, to reach them okay pal number two this was a very long reading i hope that um i'm going to leave it right here that the messages resonated if so please give me a like comment down below subscribe and share this video for many future videos like this my name is martin luclevion i had the pleasure of being your personal guide and reader for today I send you all the best of good luck, positive vibes and blessings to you and your person. Please let me down below in the comments if things have shifted, what is happening. Um, you know, if you would like to let me know and the other fellow viewers, how are things moving, how are things working for you, how are things shifting. So yeah, do not forget that um, I love you, love yourself and until next time. Bye bye. Um, well, here are about number three. Thank you very much for being here. This is going to be your reading. Firstly, I'm going to um, shuffle again five cards from the Romantic and the Sexual Tarot to see what is their current energy, what they're thinking. Um, also with the, with the um, uh, back of the decks energy. And then we'll move to the um, Oracle cards. So, the Spirit, how they're feeling. My start channeling. Okay, what I'm feel, healing and feeling like right now, I'm healing that they're puzzled. Also, sorry if I'm um, sounding a little bit quiet. I'm a bit tired and it's late when I'm recording the third pile, so I can have the video ready um, on Wednesday. Yeah. Um, They're intrigued is what also I'm think, feeling. They're wondering how are you, how are you doing? What, you, what are you up to? What has changed or they feel that you have changed? Okay, um, I'm getting strong feelings that this may be as most of you may be in separation, not talking to your person or you haven't had like a deep and meaningful conversation, something more than salutes and maybe like an office talk. If you, you know, if your person is from the office, it's like a colleague. But definitely think about you and miss you. Yeah, I'm getting like nostalgia, but like nostalgia, and wishing things. To have been better, okay, please, spirit. Five cards for pile number three, person. Please, spirit. Thank you. Five cards. How are they feeling right now? Towards pile number three. Okay, those are too much cards. Okay. I'm brought upright. Okay, we have the Ten of Pentacles. Also, this can be their Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus sign, or yours. We have Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn um, here. They definitely see you, wish, see you as a wish fulfillment, like a prized possession, but not in a shallow way. Like you're worthy, like you're genius, like you're so rare and beautiful, like a diamond. But with this man, I'm guessing the energy of feeling like afraid to take, and this is a thing from spirit to take a leap of faith. To move forward or to ask you out. Okay, let's get more cards. Even if you do not see it or um, or feel it, they feel that you're more superior than them, like maybe like spiritually, like looks, like a job, like a career, like accomplishments. 
Yeah, I'm hearing clearly for somebody. You have accomplished so much and I have nothing. How can I be the man you want me to be um, when, you, when I don't feel like this? Okay, just to say, this can be also a heterosexual, homosexual um, couple. If I say a man, this doesn't... Okay, your person may be a woman, but they may be operating from the Divine Masculine energy more and or the Divine Feminine. So take it how it appears on it. So yeah, we we are doing energies, not so much, not so much sex. So yeah, pick what you feel and discard the rest. Okay, okay. Whoop! This flipped. Should I do a reversal? Um, yes or no? Okay, yes. We have the Ten of Cups in reverse. Water signs: Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. Yeah, that they see you as a wish fulfillment, they know what they want from you, but they feel that, yeah, this is hit me die, that they are either not feeling worthy of you, worthy of you, or that they, or that they cannot reach this emotional balance, this emotional abundance. Okay. The, the Hankman and the Temperance cards, one after another, two major cards. Temperance, and this is Pisces energy. You're definitely very, like, healing. Come on, sorry. What also I'm picking from this card, is that you're helping them, like motivating them, even your energy, to shift their perspective, that they are worthy of the Ten of Cups, and that they have the key to free themselves, or that they feel that they have the key, like literally they have the key to free themselves. Okay, what I'm also hearing is that the more you balance yourself and heal yourself and love yourself and have those slips of faint spiral number three, this also is reflecting on them. Like I'm hearing for spirit, they cannot, they have nowhere to run. Okay, I asked spirit if this is a divine connection, like with the divine intervention, your divine counterpart. And I heard a uh, uh, pubetcher. Okay, I heard also the intensity of this connection is beyond a compare. One card, please, spirit. Should I take them or return them? Uh, 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 this one. This one, should I have it here or the back of the deck? Okay. We have also the strength with Leo. We have three major arcana cards. Their feelings towards you are strong. Their feeling a strong pull towards you. Yeah, I'm hearing also I want to be stronger for you. Even if I feel unworthy at this moment, that the Ten of Cups are un unreachable. This doesn't mean that I do not want to change or to change for the better. And the back of the energy, we have the Six of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, um, Gemini. Okay, with this card, I don't know, like this is personal. If you had like a recent moment when you talked or held hands or wasn't so like trivial if you get me like basically your last time la your last time with them was really was really like um important and valuable for them like helping them change and shift things and let's see with the sexo tarot 
Six cards free spirit. Takes you as a major blessing. And I'm getting that this hasn't changed from the first time they saw you. Or you talked. Or if you like if they were aware of your um, existence. I also heard that they are moving past traumas and pain. Oh, this is a very nice bridge. And with this, that they are crossing the bridge. Okay, your cells may be interacting in the 5D. Like you having those really profound talks or sexual desires or having of glimpses of what they're doing and their feelings. Okay, one cup of spirit for the Ten of Pentacles, please. Should I do reversals with the Sex of Tarot? I'm yes or no, yes. The Two of Swords. Yeah. Again, this energy. Even if the block here is marking, I'm getting like being afraid vibes. Still feeling to take the next step. Okay, for somebody I heard I made a full uh, made I made a full fool of myself. How can you trust me again? Or how can she trust me ever again? I didn't act it when when it was needed. I was a fool and a coward. And I'm getting what I deserve. Okay. Now for the ten of cups in reverse. So many cards. The four of chalices with water energy and the king of swords. Okay, I'm getting with this that they're that they're, they're being afraid to show their true colors to you, their true face. Maybe they are having this like soft persona, like macho, like their ego operating from their ego, acting so blunt and superficial. While in the inside they're really gentle, like I'm getting mixed energies. And this is why they fear that they cannot reach the Ten of Cups with you at this moment. Because, you know, people change and um, energies uh, do shift. But then know that they have to peel... Um, what was the world? That they should shed their old skin of ego and have they portray themselves to show their true scholars to you so that they can have chance and move to the ten of cups okay one card for the houdini and we have the the judgment card um should i do a reversals um, um yes or no okay one moment um yes or no no Okay, even if it came like this, they're tempting no judgment with Saturn or uh, Pluto energy. I forgot. We had judgment in pile number one, if you felt drawn. The Hankman in judgment. Even if they feel trapped, that doesn't mean that they do not want this renewal. And yeah, it sucks like, if you want it, why aren't you acting? I'm getting that they're acting, but their own pace and their own tempo. Like they're healing their divine energies. And they both want to rush things and at the same time not to rush them. Okay, now one card for the temperance, please, spirit. One card, please, spirit. The Seven of Wands. They see the... Yeah, Fire Signs, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. 
they do see this passion with you. And not only that you're helping them heal and motivating them, and even if you are apart, this, this time is healing for them. I'm hearing also even if they are acting um, dumb. Like portraying their superficial things, going to millions of dates, changing their sexual partners, for instance, but... You may be a Divine Feminine Energy, a reincarnation like a Twin Flame, but... Nevertheless, of your gender and how to identify yourself, you have like a very profound Divine Feminine Energy. It's healing for them, it's helping them heal to move. And I'm getting in the fight that your 5D selves are hugging or when you hug and embrace, they feel your warmth, even like energetically. And sometimes they feel you in the treaty like you have embraced them like a noise, like a nice noise, like a nice show. They feel your embrace, they feel your healing energy and your love and caring for them. But I'm hearing, yeah, I'm hearing very clearly, but please let me grow, let me mature. Sorry, I'm drinking water. They also heard I have my own battles to battle and to fight. Okay, one clear fire for the strength card, this spirit. Well, this was fast. The two of pentacles. Yeah, they're overcoming their battles, their shyness. Not being so afraid and bashing. Yeah, not being so bashful. Okay, for somebody and but mostly I think that they see you as a fortress. That you have put like healthy boundaries, that you have your own towers and gates and motto baileys. Some of them are not aware, but some of them but others know that this is because you have been hurt, you have been misjudged, you have been lied to, manipulated, and this is why you have your defenses up, even if you are so caring and if you have showed them or expressed your feelings towards them. They're feeling that even like deep inside that to be able to reach you, they need to overcome and working on their strength. Like yeah, you're this strong uh, character and the Six of Wands, the Six of Swords with the King of Pentacles, sorry, this was the King of Swords. Yeah, the King of Swords, I was thinking of the Pentacles, but being very like cold and distant and uh, arrogant sometimes. Okay, we have the Page of Pentacles. I love here the, no, the King of Pentacles. I really love the King of Pentacles. He's like very, very um, um, sexually strong. Drone, okay. I'm not getting that, yeah, like with those two cards I'm getting being, um... Sorry, one moment. Not only being in you like um, a friend to cherish you, to be happy with you, like not only romantical and friend and amical feelings, but also they have very uh, sexual feelings towards you. Uh, but I feel that sometimes they're afraid to show their truest sexual, sexual sides to you and their deepest desires of a fear of you um, running away from from them, seeing their true side or their... Okay, I'm hearing that I'm so kinky that you're so not aware of it. Especially if, you, if they see you as this gentle spirit. They feel that their kinkiness, that their naughtiness can uh, scare you away by number three. Now let's see. One binding energy with the tarot cards. Okay, what I'm getting for both of you, like a confirmation, you both think that the other person is very hot and smoking hot, like sexy. There is a sexual attraction, but most like sensual. And a, like a gift like a great desire to touch each other and to talk like i'm hearing for both of you to spend as much time as possible together 
but they definitely feel attracted to you like sexually and sensually like yeah i'm hearing very clearly from spirit power number three keep doing yourself like being so kind generous healing yourself self-love self-indulgent good caring happy glee jolly because they find this attractive about, about you build about you about your persona being so authentic and free-spirited and this is something which has to shift with them also like in their 3d self so that they can catch up with you if you get me okay one card for the two for the ten of pentacles and the two of swords please spirit one binding energy the four of swords in reverse La, yeah i don't know here okay the four of swords air signs like yeah what I was getting that they have no peace, they feel frustrated, feeling this. Okay, for somebody, I'm hearing that they fear, fear, fear your change. Like, if you shift your focus from them, or you move on, or you find another person, even with all those sexual and romantic feelings and amical as well. They feel stuck sometimes, okay, with the Ten of Cups, one energy for the King of Swords and the Four of Chalices. Please, Spirit. The Cunigan, the Munson. Now we have the King of Pentacles, what I was saying. Yeah. They need to shift from the King of Swords to the King of Pentacles. A, a Cunic, the Munson, Taurus energy and uh, Earth signs. Being more stable, grounded, being healthy in healthy relationships, setting healthy boundaries and being like, this kick is giving me like cold, arrogant, distant. Off oh, webs. <gasps> Off oh, Molivice. I'm sorry I'm about this pound number one. So sorry for the intrusion pound number three. Like literally a book came on my desk above my camera. Like recently, I had so many books, even um, green shield books, I think that they're called in English. Um, Mirislivki in Bulgarian, like those books who give off this smell. Like it was about my twin flame and science, and now I saw another book. So I had to take it I'm outside because I. Okay, I was getting. Okay, and with you, I'm getting that you feel that you're protected. Your spirit guides may be protecting this connection, appearing to you as bugs. Or you may receive feathers. Like, um, I'm not a great fan of, of insects, unless butterflies and bees and ladybugs. But I said, okay, thank you. Thank you so very much, my spirit guides. But seriously, like now when I'm recording in this book, so I had to take it away, you know, to to feel safe. I wonder if this is also going to be my pile. But wow, uh, when uh, before I was interrupted, um, yeah, instead of this, the energy they want to be and to shift is in this caring, stable, grounded, mature man. Also serving as your um, a man, like I'm saying man, divine, masculine, like what I told you, but Big also like a confidant for you, not only about the sex and you know, um, and the lovey doveys, but when you want somebody to talk to, to express your fears, to um, your desires, your um, feels, you know, what troubles you. And you, you know, I'm literally picturing, picturing them like this king, putting them on their lip and um, embracing you and petting you and caring for you and saying, I know, relax, you, you got this baby, you will do everything. If you need help, I'm here like with money, with advices, I have friends, you know, and, and I heard friends from the other side, like you have friends from the other side, power number three, you're protected from your spirit guides and your ancestors and your loved ones who have passed, so sorry. Okay, now for the judgment and the the hanged man. 
one Viking energy free spirit. And we have three. Okay. The six of swords, the seven of cups, and the seven of pair of pentacles. Okay, what am I I'm getting with this with these cards? They may feel overwhelmed of how things are changing for them. So many new changes is what I'm getting with the cups. Or they're re receiving so many blessings and manifestations that they may feel overwhelmed, but nevertheless they're moving. They're working. And I'm getting that they're very aware that they are building or that they're going to be aware that they are building and making their own happiness. Okay, one binding energy for the seven of wands and temperance. Whoa, this was fast. And on the king again. The ace of swords. You all saw the cards, like what Kinutaro says. Watch the cards, you saw this. As the Shweta, the Ace of Swords in reverse. They are healing, you're helping them, but for the time being, they feel that they're not ready to express their feelings. I know that this may suck to encounter you, to express their truest feelings to you. But I'm getting a really strong feeling that they're aware that this is a problem that they need to fix. Okay, one, okay, these are air signs now with the uh, one card for the strength and the two of pentacles. Okay, even if things are seeming stuck, I'm hearing from spirit, do not fear power number three. Things are changing. It depends on your person. Your person is getting aware that they hold the key. What you have done, you have done. Like show them support by uh, meditating or sending them love and hope like telepathically but even in in the office like even you say them a uh, good luck today or like if it might sound for a project but I get that they're going to get that you are having this deep meaning but yeah things are moving but they need this to heal and to fight their own battles and to do what is best for them so they may act dumb, they may act superficial, they might uh, keep posting ridiculous photos with karmics and toxic friends. Um, yeah, I'm hearing to stay away from negative thoughts and patterns and this energy. Even if they're showing portraying the treaty that nothing is changing and they're not healing, I'm hearing that this is very beneficial for them. Like that doesn't mean that that, that they are not changing from the inside. Like they can smile and everything, but deep down they're changing and seeing what doesn't serve them. Opening their eyes to the truth, the spirit one. Well, temperance, what I was talking about, another temperance. Yeah, and with the Leo and the two fonts that they're working for this messy kite. That they're healing, another confirmation, healing and working towards this. And back of the energy, the two of cups. Water signs, like ritually. Not only amical and sexual feelings, but also romantic feelings. Two persons, two persons, two persons. Six may be an important number, like yeah, six. And I'm getting with the Frank Leo, like this may be San Mark. Um, San Marcos Leo, Il Leone di San Marco, but with this, that the divine forces are helping and are guiding you. Okay, now with the oracle cards. Okay, one moment. I'm hearing from spirit, see the bigger picture. Even if you're not seeing some, like what I was telling you about them and their behavior. I'm getting this also from their side, like you, they may view that you have no feelings, that you have moved on from them, that you do not care, but you know that deep, deep inside what you're feeling. Nevertheless, I'm getting that spirit is pushing you both, like to a conversation, to, to a, how to set like a better timeline, 
to speak to talk when you're healed and ready but yeah i'm hearing this very clear and loud from spirit trust where you are being led okay now let's see with the oracle cards and also do not fear toxic people and patterns and you get me pound number three because divine, divine forces are working here for your highest good okay now with oracle cards their current energy is what is happening please spirit three cards oh. I'm hearing and feeling both that they're changing so much that even you cannot comprehend it at this time, even they. Because I'm getting that the changes are happening deep inside of them, even if they're not aware of this, like with their ego and if they're overworking and you get me, trying to keep, okay, they might be overworking or being with toxic friends or many friends at this time because they are healing and trying to find this escape from what is happening to them this emo in intense and immense um emotions okay this spirit three cards for pile number three person their energies what is happening what is happening with them the garden and the gate with 13 they can be 30 um, um, years old. Yeah. This card talks about living in your zone, in your comfort zone, but having the key and the courage to see beyond the gate. What is there? And you are beyond the gate. They see you. They see what to expect, maybe, and to see. They have the key, like literally on their like on her um, neck, but only they can free themselves. But with bitter, but with the butterflies and the two butterflies, I'm getting like spiritual awakening and divine intervention. They definitely see the balance, what I was telling you, but it's up to them to open the key. And you only have, okay, even if you tell them, it's happening, it's happening up to them. Your person sounds like a divine masculine energy. They need to fight also the stubbornness. And maybe they see that you have moved beyond the gate and you're happy. They see your happiness. They see that you're safe and abundant, but it's up to um, it's up to them to trust themselves. Like firstly and foremostly to trust themselves, to trust their heart. Because I'm getting that they have Maybe they have closed their heart chakra in the past due to bad decisions if, if they think, if they have made mistakes. And this is why they're operating mainly from their logic and ego. But I'm getting that the ego cannot serve them or, or, or keep them safe. Not with you. Okay, one card please, spirit. Not 20,000. Or two cards, please, spirit. First chakra, Archangel Michael. So Michael can be significant and helping you. Somebody's name, maybe Michael or uh, Michaela. Michaela with 35. They are cutting toxic ties and cords, grounding themselves, feeling balanced, feeling brave. And also with this thread that they have a great passion about you, pile number one. Uh, pile number three, sorry. Maybe for some of you this is an indication to see pile number one. Okay, we have two more cards. Yeah, a cornucopia with 11. Also, 11s are like a twin flame number. A confirmation and 24 ad adjacent possibilities. Yeah, they're adjusting their possibilities. They see the light, they see the abundance, they feel the abundance, but they need to adjust themselves and to grab themselves. 
but with Michael, I'm hearing that they're very strong as a person, like not to worry. For some of them, it's going to take a little bit more time. But those adjustments and changes are necessary for them. Not only for you and this relationship, but mostly for them. Firstly and foremostly. Okay, we have one flip card. Yeah, trust the process and let things um, happen at their own pace and unravel when the time is right. And also very clear message from your spirit guides that um, they have never left you. You're not alone, pal number three. In this, in this love, in this connection. Three, three cards, please, spirit. Regret and passion with 20 and 14. Yeah, that they have this passion, they want to embrace you, they feel their embrace and they feel a regret. Didn't I tell you this in, in the beginning? I made a complete fool of myself. I didn't act when I was supposed to act or how should I have acted and now I'm, I'm facing my, my karma. Yeah, there are no coincidences in tarot. They need to move past these regrets and firstly and foremostly to forgive themselves. One car, please, spirit. Freedom. They want to be free and they're working towards this freedom. But firstly, a freedom of their mind. Like, I'm not getting, like, some that the problem is, like, a physical karmic or a physical relationship. For many of them, I'm getting starting off, but mostly a freedom of their mind, of their ego, of their possibilities, that they're, that everything is possible and with so much the purple color and the blue, that are, this has to do with their throat chakra, speaking their truth and opening their crown chakra, opening themselves to the, uh, to the infinite uh, possibilities and the uh, cornucopia. Okay, also I'm going to use my um, Oracle cards of the Radiant Sun, I got them, I saw them from Stargirl and they're just amazing. It took me so long to find them, to be sincere. Okay, and I waited them to be shipped to be shipped from from um, America, from the United States to Bulgaria. Okay, please. Spirit three more cards about pal numbers. Pal number three person. Riches with Saturn and Capricorn. I'm getting that they're very hardworking and generous a person, like a team leader, like a team builder is what I heard. They are definitely blessed with the cornucopia, but only if they're open their hearts. Yeah, and with the 10, this also talks about the 10 house of job, of jobs. You know, like jobs and work. They're, ve they're definitely a very abundant person. But I'm getting that for some of them, even their career goals and riches are not satisfying them. They feel that you are missing. Extremism. With Mercury and Scorpio, the eighth house. This is my giving me the first cards with the Ten of Pentacles, the reverse Ten of Cups, you know. Extremism. Okay, one moment to read from the book, but obviously that they feel the extremism of this relationship, like that the changes and what they are experiencing. Mm. This is Mercury. Yeah, and we got them. Uh, when this card is drawn, the questioner may face a total re reappraisal of his or her life philosophy to overcome a seemingly unsolvable situation. A violent verbal outburst, news of death, the solving of a great problem, discussions of a deep life problem, a dramatic change of opinion. Basically, their changes and what is changing 
also. But with this news of death, I'm getting death of the ego, death of the toxic divine masculine um, um, energy. Came on, last card, please, spirit. Whoop, this was fast. Isolation. With Saturn and Scorpio, we have so much, so much Scorpio and Saturn. With six. That they feel isolated from you, or that they need, or that they needed to isolate themselves from you. To heal, to feel what is working, and how things are shifting. Okay. Generosity with Leo and Saturn. Again, Saturn. So you may be facing your Saturn return. You may be heavily influenced by Saturn or your person, like clearing past karma, feminine karma. Okay, I'm going to draw just one card. Okay, uh, please three cards, spirit for those three. So this is my, maybe the, the Saturn energy is intense in this connection, but this is because they are, are clearing. And things may suck right now, you want, you want to be with your person and they want to be with you. But those things need to happen. You need to have patience because they are changing for the better. Like literally like uh, how a caterpillar becomes a butterfly, you know. Okay, the three of wands. A second card, please, spirit. The cook. A König and the Stäbe, the Queen of Wands. Okay, one last card, please, Spirit. One last card, please, Spirit. I could like to change. Page, yeah. Page de Kelche. Okay, with this, like a positive outcome, and a general outcome. Yeah, isolation to heal to heal themselves so they can approach you. Extremism, like yeah, your energy, like your healing divine feminine energy, your healing and passionate energy is helping them to shift this extreme energy to shift and to move and to move the beyond, like and with the riches with the tree of pentacles, like the tree no, the tree of yeah, working together with you, but with the three of wands, they're being, yeah, being guided by the divine, helped, and they see, like, you, like I told you, keep doing yourself because you are definitely motivating them. Your energy, your existence, your souls are are yearning for each other, even if you're feel it or not at this time. Okay, pal three, I'm going to leave your reading right here. Um, it was so long. I hope that the message resonated. Please, if yes, please give me a like, comment down below, subscribe and share this video for many future videos like this. My name is Martin Lucrevion. I had the pleasure of being your personal guide and reader for today. Please let me down below in the comments if you remember remember how things are, have changed, um, how things are working out for you. I'm hoping for the very best best. Because remember, rejection is divine protection. If they're isolating their sense from you or vice versa, this is because it's of higher meaning. Because even if, okay, for example, even if you love each other, if they haven't healed or you haven't healed, you may burst into crying, into arguing, into um, passive aggressive energy, even physical, because you're very passionate people. And this is why for the time being, it's best to be separated. Because they do not want to hurt you and you do not want to hurt them. And I'm getting really strong things at the back of my spine, like verbally and physically. So, okay, do not forget that um, I wish you all the best of luck and do not forget that um, I love you, love yourself and next, until next time. Bye-bye.